The first stop on our trip was the Walt Disney Family Museum, where we learned about Walt Disney and the Disney franchise. Upon entering the museum, the first thing we saw was actually a Peanuts comic strip, donated to the museum by Jeannie Schultz. This represents the long-time positive relationship between the two franchises. We were given a private tour by Courtney, who walked us through a timeline of Walt Disney's life. It was interesting to learn just how massive the Disney franchise is and about the man who started it all. I was particularly interested in the beginning of Disneyland, which the museum has a full replica of. After a visit to the Fisherman's Wharf, a drive over the Golden Gate Bridge, and a hike through the Armstrong Redwood State Natural Reserve, we were ready to visit the Charles M. Schultz Museum in Santa Rosa. <laughs> Well, I don't want to say too much and spoil it, but the, this is a fantastic research center that has all sorts of historical artifacts that I, I'm sure you will all come to love and appreciate as much as I do. <laughs> The museum definitely did prove to be an excellent research center, where we saw many original strips and products of the Peanuts franchise. We were lucky enough to get a private tour from Corey Kanzenberg, the curator of the Charles M. Schultz Museum. In this clip, she told us about A Charlie Brown Christmas and its history. Which even though it sounds short, Phil Melendez would later uh, talk about how this was actually a fairly reasonable schedule to produce a half hour of uh, production which is how long a Charlie Brown Christmas is. And so what you're seeing on the wall here are these three gentlemen, Lee Mendelson, Charles Schultz, and Bill Melendez. Bill Melendez working in the studio, accepting the Emmy for a Charlie Brown Christmas, um, which, you know, they were up against Walt Disney and other big names that night, um, but they won the Emmy for uh, Best Network Animated Special. And I just love this quote from Lee Mendelson where he said he remembered the experience kind of like a dream. And he said, and we all realized that poor old Charlie Brown is in show business to stay. After a tour, we were taken to the back of the museum for a more extensive look at the collection. It was really interesting to get such an up-close look at some of the original comic strips. The Peanuts paper, from the Peanuts template that he would have had in his office, and he crossed it out and he called it Hagemeyer. So I don't know if you were upstairs in the bio gallery, but his army buddy was Ernest Hagemeyer, a good friend of his, so he named this after his friend. The line that Charlie Brown had said, happiness is a warm puppy, and turning it into that little book. Happiness is a warm puppy with all these little aphorisms. You know, happiness is a warm puppy. Happiness is catching a piece of candy off from the first bounce. Snoopy called that candy, not Charlie Brown. Five second rule. Um. We then had a Snoopy themed lunch at the Warm Puppy Cafe before heading back into the museum to learn about the archives and its research tools. We used the research aids on the museum's website to look up the original letters Harriet Glickman wrote to Schultz asking him to introduce an African American Peanuts character. The women who worked in the archives were more than happy to tell us about the behind-the-scenes work it takes to keep a respected museum like the Charles M. Schultz Museum operating in an organized way. Something and have to do your research and find it. And tomorrow, we're really excited about going back to the museum and learning more about the franchise.